Hello my amazing people, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to show you how you can roll back to a previous version of a plugin or a theme. Now this is basically downgrading from the version of where you are to a previous version. Now this can be for so many reasons. For example recently Elementor released out the version 3.0 and now it's up to 3.9. However many people got issues about you know their sites breaking on or getting some errors or they couldn't basically do some basic things that they were doing in the previous version. So what they had actually to do was to roll back to a previous version. And now this is the reason I'm making this tutorial so that even if you have issues with another plugin, once you have it updated or a theme, you can easily roll back to that version and get your issues sorted. So now let's jump straight in and get started. Right over here, I have my beautiful WordPress website, but maybe because of a certain update that I made, then some things go missing somewhere. So now let me show you how you can easily revert back to a previous version of a theme or a plugin and get some of those issues sorted. But before you actually roll back to a certain theme or even before you upgrade to a new theme or even to update a plugin, please always make sure that you back up your WordPress website because that will save you from having things that you had already done to have to redo them or basically to break down your website. Now, before we even do anything in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can now back up your WordPress website in a very easy and simple way. So to back up, you simply come over here to plugins. You're going to add a new plugin. Search for a plugin called WP Vivid. It's a very simple free plugin that you can use to back up your WordPress website. So it's one word over here, simply install and then activate. Now we have activated our backup plugin. So once you are here, you simply click on backup and once it starts backing up, just wait for a few couple of seconds. Depends also on the size of the WordPress website. So since this is a very small WordPress website, my backup is done in a couple of seconds. Once it is done, you simply just scroll down below here and you'll see that your backup is already there. Now this is the backup having the latest plugins or even a theme of our WordPress website. Now let's go and see how we can roll back to previous versions of that plugin or a theme. So when you come over here to plugins, we are going to install another plugin and this plugin is called WP Rollback. So it shows up over here, simply install. And once that plugin is installed, simply activate. And when it's activated, you automatically redirect it to the plugins area. Once you have that plugin installed and activated, you get this other option against those plugins. For example, this is, you know, on the Elementor Rollback roll back and also there is another one over here roll back and roll back so what i'm going to do is at the moment i'm having 3.09 for elementor and i'm going to roll back to another version which was the version before 3.0 which is 2.914 i'll simply roll back and here they strongly recommend us to back up our wordpress website which we have already done we can simply activate the plugin so we have the plugin activated. The next thing that we have to do is now we want to roll back a theme. How do we roll back a theme? Simply come over here to appearance, themes, and you are going to simply click on any of that theme and you will have this option over here called roll back or simply roll back by clicking on roll back. And at the moment I have this version installed, but maybe I want to roll back to this version 2.50. So I'm going to simply roll back. Again, they strongly recommend us to back up our WordPress website, which we have already done. And cool. So now when we head back to our themes, you realize that now we have the version 5.0 for Astra, which is 5.0. And the same if we go back to our plugins, you realize that for Elementor, we are having the version 2.941. Now this is really beautiful and easily done. But please always note that you should back up your WordPress website before rolling back because if you roll back when you had made some changes or some updates in the design or even the database of your WordPress website, you lose data once you roll back to a previous version. So even at the current state, I would still highly recommend that you make a backup version of this WordPress website that you have rolled back. In any case, you'll find that there are some changes or some things that are missing out in the new version or the older version, you can easily restore one of that version. So how do you do that? When you come over here to WP Vivid, backup and restore, 
you can still make up another backup and the beauty about WPVVD actually this backup goes to your server so in any case you want to restore it it is coming back from your server and once you delete it it's going to be deleted from your server but also they offer other options like backing up to the cloud google drive amazon web services and a lot more once my second backup is done then down below here you realize that I have another backup. Now in case you want to restore to the version that you were before rolling back, how do you do that? You simply just come and look up for that version and then you can simply say restore or in case you want to download it, you can simply download. But in this case, you want to restore and now this will simply take you to this window prompt you to confirm that you want to restore that version and now the restoration process will start running. Now once the restoration process is done, it takes back us here to this option down here and shows you the uploaded backup, one that we have now actually restored back to our website. Now when we go back to the plugins area, you realize that we have the latest version of Elementor prior rolling back and the same applies to the theme by coming over here to themes. You realize that we will be having Astra 2.55. Now in a nutshell, that's how you can roll back or downgrade your WordPress website to a previous version of a theme or a plugin and also how you can easily back up and restore your WordPress website without losing data. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you find it useful, please give it a like and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.